And I also have here a few other examples, variations of the same sort of birdhouse concept. Uh, this is another one, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, minor difference, we put a little perch on here, so we took a little bit of dowel, drilled a hole, and glued it in. Another big difference with this one, on the roof, instead of nailing it in, we actually drilled and screwed in four screws. That way, uh, once the nesting season is done, we can unscrew the top, the roof of the birdhouse, open it up. We can dump out the old birdhouse, or the old nest, and put the roof back on so that it's ready for the next family of birds next year. Another one that we have here, uh, it's the exact same sort of concept. This is another box, you can hold it up. It's the exact same idea like this, but instead of drilling the hole through what we call the front on ours, this version is through the side, right? And that way you can mount it up with it on the corner. So a slightly different variation. Exact same box, four pieces of wood, just the hole is in a different spot. Another variation here, you can get really creative with some of your ideas. Uh, so you don't have to make a box. This one is a birdhouse that was made out of an old piece of plumbing pipe. It was cut on an angle so it has this top to protect the hole. Two circles of wood were screwed in to the front and the back. Right? And it has some screws on it, some eye hooks on it, so that we can hang it with a string. Okay. And then finally, like I mentioned before, you don't have access to a saw, maybe you can find scraps of wood, and it's quite easy with some scraps of wood to kind of mix and match and play with them until you can come up with something that looks like a birdhouse. And then all you need is a hammer and some nails. So if you don't have access to a saw, at least hammer and nails and a bunch of scraps of wood, and you can be creative with your imagination, and you can come up with a different variation of a birdhouse. Maybe a bird feeder 